I think the product industry in India has been uh, maturing in the last two decades. Uh, I've been part of it and I can see that we are building more and more complex products from here. Uh, but I think uh, the most important and the most interesting uh, uh, development that has happened is that we are building products for India from India. And I think that's very different from what we have done with, uh, uh, in, 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 in the last two decades. Uh, I think we are only beginning to realize it now, uh, what does it take to really build a product. And it's very different uh, uh, and much more than just writing a few lines of code. Uh, we talk about understanding the users, we talk about how do we create the delivery channels, we talk about what kind of pricing mechanisms are there, uh, what are the unique uh, habits and preferences of Indians. Uh, and I think that's going to be uh, humongously difficult uh, uh, for us because simply because we don't have enough data points on that. I mean, we are learning it, but I think that to me clearly separates. The technology is, is a given, everywhere it's the same technology, whether you are on a cloud or whether you are IoT or whatever, what have you, it's the same thing available. But really understanding the products in terms of user preferences and understanding what kind of unique problems do we want to solve, uh, what kind of user experiences do we want to deliver it to our customers, what kind of pricing mechanisms are there, um, uh, and so on and so forth. So I think these are the ones which I think are more user facing or customer facing. Uh, under the bonnet, the technology is kind of <clears throat> a given, uh, which I don't think is that much of a deal in my view. If I were to just take uh, time shots and say, what did we look for uh, people 15 years back or 20 years back and what do we look for people now? I think to me the single biggest difference would be 20 years back we were looking for people who could follow the instructions, comply very well, deliver something very well because somebody from somebody from the mothership sent us the, the, the product requirements or the software requirements and so on and what we needed were a set of people who could really deliver on that. Today if I have to go with that I would break that mold and I would say I want people who can think creatively. So I don't want people who are looking for compliance, I was, I'm looking for people who can think creatively. These are the people who can go out of the box and they can say, okay, how do we solve a problem in a different manner? How can we even um, question the basic assumptions? Why are we even doing it in the first place? So I want people who are really willing to think creatively, uh, who are willing to think differently, who are, who are willing to question the status quo and not simply uh, come out with something just because there are 10 other products ex existing in the rest of the world. Let's create another copy of that. look at our country there's no dearth of meaningful problem there is enough friction everywhere you go there so if you can solve a problem for a billion people you you already have a global product in my view we have uh, products for India being made in India products like hike for example uh, which already has hundred million users and it is actually uh, successful in India because it's, a sol it's solving the problems the Indian customers and the users have in a very India specific unique manner and not like someone who came from the left field and straight away said hey this worked in uh, Europe or in uh, US and that, 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 that's how let's solve the problem here. Best place people for that I think the startup uh, ecosystem is literally hitting a critical mass. Uh, in next three years it's projected that we are going to have more than 10,000 startups. And already we are, I think, the third largest uh, startup ecosystem in the world. Probably might become second largest by end of the year or so. So I think in terms of the uh, players that we need to have, whether it is the uh, investors, whether it's the talent, whether it's the market, uh, whether it's the, uh, the enablers in terms of coaches and mentors and trainers and so on. I think what will make us a product nation, to, in my view, is really solving those complex problems in a very India specific manner. And in that process, we will uncover uh, some of the some of the ideas that will have a universal appeal. I mean, if I, if we can solve a problem for a billion people, we can solve the problem for seven billion people. The average age of entrepreneurs in India is 27. In US, it is 37, and in the UK, it is 47. Now, the point I'm making here is that uh, a lot of times uh, we have abundant amount of youth energy to really get the things going. But I think what we need to also understand is that startup and entrepreneurship is not about just people who are 22 and 25 year old. In fact, the people who have a lot of deep experience in the industry, uh, 20, 30 years of experience, they need to also come in just like in the US and UK, they are all coming together. And I think the youth and the experience can come together because what they bring to the table is so unique that a lot of entrepreneurs don't understand those things. A lot of colleges are pushing uh, the entrepreneurship in a big way. 
but as we already know there is a big disconnect between academia and industry as it is and with entrepreneurship uh, impetus that's only going to worsen so we need people who have been long enough in the industry to go back and being able to kind of help them i've been associated with the ipl for about 3 4 years now as a faculty uh, and i have uh, i have not only enjoyed uh, delivering the sessions i have actually learned a lot from the class classes also because the students are working professionals um, definitely somebody who is very motivated about their personal improvement um, i think it's a great opportunity because your average batch is like 12 15 years experience and they bring so much uh, value to the classroom that you can learn a lot from them uh, let alone the faculty i do realize that this is it's a significant investment of time and uh, effort um, uh, definitely because uh, when you are doing something for 15 months or so it's like your family hates you right i mean i've been in those shoes myself when i did my exit mba so i know the the, the that that situation maybe you want to do some uh, short term courses just to see whether you have uh, uh, even after you last sat in the class 10 years back you still have that capacity and and desire to really sit in the classroom and and subject yourself to a lot of learning it's not an easy thing not all of us are cut out for that so i think it's good to prepare yourself for that so maybe and there are so many uh, courses available on the net um, I, i mean i know for example ipl itself offers an online course uh, for i think 3 or 4 months uh, the icpm uh, which can actually warm you up it's like wetting the feet before you take a plunge in the swimming pool kind of a thing so it, it it gives you a preparatory kind of a step there guys i think this is one of the most unique courses globally i mean uh, definitely there is nothing like that in india um, and i'm not saying this because i have been associated uh, i think it 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 allows you to become a well rounded uh, product leader Uh, and you could be coming from may sales or marketing or technology or any of the backgrounds but you actually may not have the whole um, uh, and a uh, holistic understanding of what does it take to be a product leader uh, and over 15 months the faculty that is then the and I, i think the best part of the faculty that we have in ipl is these are not the people who are just teaching from the books these are the people who use these tools and frameworks and ideas in their day job and they they are happy to come and teach you over the weekend as we say at ipl you learn over a weekend and and apply it from monday that kind of a thing so what you get is actually what is already being practiced uh, in the job